All right, what is up, stewards? In this guide, I am going to show you guys how to survive the first whiteout winter in Frostpunk 2. This is meant to help beginners survive and kind of guide you out along the steps that you'll need to take to get your first winter going. So the first thing we want to do is we can just pause the game by hitting space. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to um, use our frost break. And we're going to want to frost break all of these areas and get this first oil supply done. So right when we have all those frost broken, we just click check mark. And then we are going to send out another frost breaking. We can do two at a time. And we are just going to slowly start getting all of these areas broken in ice. And then we'll have time going forward. You can hit two or three to make time go faster, which we're going to do. And right when time is done here, we're going to hit pause again. And then we are going to build our first extraction district. To build our first extraction district, we're going to click on the oil refinery. And then click on two places around it and then hit check mark. And now it is done. And also at the same time, we are going to keep our... Uh, frost breaking going by clicking all the areas that uh, we think that we will need frost broken. So I'm just going to click on these areas and get the frost broken all the way over there. Okay, now we're going to resume time again and just hit three. And from there, we are going to just keep frost breaking. We might want to start on the other side of the dreadnought and start breaking into. these areas like so we're gonna check there and then we're going to keep time going all right now we have the dreadnought furnace complete we are going to go to our dreadnought and turn the generator on we will now be generating fuel and heat and now now that we have that done we can start building First break and break that. We're gonna build our housing districts. And we're gonna build them alongside the dreadnought. Just like this. And then we're gonna build one more on the lower side. Okay, after doing the housing districts, we are going to do some more frost breaking. Oh nope, our frost breaking is done. So now we're just gonna go ahead in time until all of this is done and manage more frost breaking, like so. As soon as it becomes available. Okay, our housing is done. And let's see what else we can build here. We can build another extraction district here on the prefabs. We're gonna want those done. And then one more on the oil as soon as it's available. But again, anytime your frost breakers are not working, it's a uh, good idea to get them working. And we're just going to go faster time here, again by hitting three. And now we need access to food. So we're just going to build food districts up on here where these plants are. And we're going to build as many as we can. Right now, we can only build two because we need more scraps. An easy way to get more scraps is to click on your wanderers, go to trust, and your favors, and click take scraps. And you can just take the scraps, and now you'll have access to much more. Right now, we're just going to build two of these areas. And then we are going to want to build um, a maintenance wagon to get more materials once these are done. But we'll also start building around here with our frost breaker, just to make sure we have access to all these resources. And one more frost breaker can be sent down here. Now we're going to want to build a extraction district on the maintenance wagon. And now we have to start stockpiling food. So the way we're going to start stockpiling food is we are going to go to construct hubs and we need to build a food stockpiler next to our farm. And 
And now we are just going to go forward in time a little bit until these are all done. And let's see right here. We may want to build some more shelter. Actually, no, we are looking good on shelter. Uh, but we could use some more workers, I guess. So we're going to save up for another housing district. And... We are going to just build the housing district um, right on the side here. Oh, I actually can't right now for some reason. So we'll just keep going forward. So we're right up at the top left. It says whiteout arriving in 57 weeks and our stockpiles are already at 143 weeks at the current rate. So it looks like we definitely need some more um, farms going. So, what we are going to do is we are going to build another farm. Right. We're going to build another farm right up here. Food district. And I'm not sure why that's not letting me build. Do I have this area unlocked? No, I don't. Yep, so make sure the area is unlocked. Cross break through to it. And we'll start getting this oil too down here. And work our way towards that food. Okay, now it's t recommending us to tighten our belts of our workers, so we're going to do that. Now they're going to consume a lot less food, and we can see that we are going to be ready in 108 weeks right now. We're going to go forward in time. And now we can build two more farms. There's one. And let's build more extraction here, because we're going to need some more oil and then what we should also start doing is ordering a few emergency shifts that's going to make our rate of production much higher so now we are going to be ready in 71 weeks and we have 51 weeks left so now that we have that we can build a little bit more food districts and I didn't have that unlocked on accident. Here we go. And I'm also going to... Nope, I don't have enough breakers. But I'm just going to pay attention to what resources I need right now and keep on going forward. It looks like we're doing pretty well. We're at a surplus of food, a surplus of material, and we aren't having any shelter problems. So... Then we are just going to make sure that we have enough hubs. That's going to be really important. So we have enough storage. Each hub will give you 15,000 extra storage. So we'll need three hubs total for this. And then we just need more heat and more materials and more prefabs for this next area. So we're just going to wait until we have 140 prefabs available. All right, the heat demand has increased because of the cold, and we've seen that this is now empty, so we actually need to get prefabs from another area. So we're gonna demolish that, and we're gonna see where more prefabs are available. Looks like right up here is uh, prefabs. Oh no, that's materials. We're actually going to look all the way down here and find this construction wagon and get the prefabs from there. Oh, it's not letting me ice break up there, so let's figure this out. Maybe we'll just have to slowly frost break our way out of there first. And we'll just go forward in time again. And once our um, district is demolished, we'll have enough room for a... another um, extraction district. So we're gonna build that first. Start extracting prefabs right there. And then food, we need 30 heat, 20 materials, and 140 prefabs. So again, we'll just have to wait.
Okay, they found some seal colonies right here, which is really nice. And now they'll uh, start getting food from the seals. Very nice. And we're almost to the point where we have 140 prefabs available for the last little bit of food we need down here. Okay, and I think the final thing that we'll need to do is to build one more hub for storage. And see what's going on here. And we'll just slaughter the seal colony. And just keep that going. Now we are very much okay. And we've made it all the way to the whiteout. We have enough food. And we should be able to just survive the whiteout. So yeah, that is how you survive the whiteout in the prologue in Frostpunk 2. I hope this guide was helpful for you guys. It was meant to be kind of like a play along walkthrough. And um, yeah, it took me a little bit to get this done. So I hope it helped. Do not subscribe to me, but feel free to use my creator code Pazar, P-A-Z-A-R, on Epic Games if this helped you out at all. Thanks a lot, everyone, and have a great day.